Ramirez batting against Trevor Hoffman. Nice job, partner. You too. You too. We need some points. I got to be honest, I completely forgot that we were doing that. Caught up in the game action and oh that's right to the 14th inning stretch. Well the good thing was the fans that have stuck it out here with us were really into it. We needed all the help we could get. Yep. Two strikes on Ramirez. A kick and a pitch. Buried in the dirt. Four to three San Diego. Trevor Hoffman, the 11th Padre in the ninth spot. They continue to pile up. Jake Peavy pinch hit in this spot. And popped a second. High in the air to right. Giles coming over. And he jumps up against the padding, and the ball is out of play. Last year, Trevor Hoffman passed Lee Smith on the all-time saves list. 484 saves for Trevor Hoffman. Two for two this year. He had 46 last year, and many thought he should have won the Cy Young. It went to Brandon Webb of the Diamondbacks. You know, Len, I think Trevor Hoffman probably works harder for the short amount of time that he's involved in a ball game than any player in Major League Baseball. This guy's workout would bring most players to their knees. He strikes out Aramis. Boy, another Cub hitter chasing a high fastball. A lot of the strikeouts that we've seen over the last four or five innings have been on that pitch. Fastballs up above the letters. Daryl Ward at the plate for the first time. He's playing first base. Came in on the top of this inning. It's a familiar spot for Daryl Ward, though, as a pinch hitter coming off the bench. He's used to facing the Trevor Hoffmans of the world, the guys that pitch at the end of the ball game for the other team. Two balls and no strikes on Daryl Ward. One of four Cup players who wore number 42 on Sunday. Honoring the memory of Jackie Robinson. Cameron frozen it at first and has to come way in and it drops. A three time gold glover and he just absolutely didn't move. But the wind pushed it back and it ends up being a wind blown single. And Daryl Ward is now at second base. He'll be removed for a pinch hitter, a pinch runner. Jason Marquis. Here we go. <laughs> so Ward hustling to second base, and he's in scoring position, the tying run, and now it's Jason Marquis running. Boy, a great defensive outfielder like Mike Cameron gets fooled here. A big swing from Daryl Ward. Ball hit high in the air to straightaway center field. A wind just howling, pushing it further and further away from Cameron. A diving attempt, and he can't get there. We talked about it with Alfonso Soriano learning center field with that wind as a factor. Sometimes you have to go against your own instincts. Very hard thing to do. So marquee pinch running for Daryl Ward, who just doubled. The 1 0 to Jones. Two balls, no strikes. Long. 
long look by Hoffman as a sign he wants from Bowen slides toward the outside and a drive but gonna stay in and Marquis gonna hold another well-struck ball for an out so it's now up to Ronnie Cedeno with two outs can he keep the Cubs alive Yeah, some of the great closers, uh, you don't expect them to have a good record because they come in with a lead. And when they blow a save, a lot of times it ends up being a loss, especially on the road. I mean, it's an automatic loss for a lot of guys. Give up a couple of runs, that's it. The pitch to Cedeno, a strike on the outside corner. Hoffman looking for his 485th save. Well, the Cubs down to their final strike. Jeff Blum with a go-ahead RBI double. And Trevor Hoffman trying to save it for Doug Brocale. Here's the pitch. Got him called strike three. And that does it. And the Padres win this marathon 4-3. So a split of the series. It comes in the homestand at a disappointing 2-5. They'll head to Atlanta 5-8 overall. We'll be back.